All right, here we go. Oh shit, there's a lot about me. Oh shit, there's a thing. Oh shit. All right, we got some stuff to watch. Let's do this. Ready? Who you were. Yeah, well, she came. Uh, she has been one of the biggest problems. Let's watch it. You him. know that. Come on. Yeah, I'll get be, rid of the be text. Fair Sorry. Tell everybody that's what I've told. Well, me and you talked in private. I well, said the same thing. I'm, I'm reiterating. We're in front of an audience now. They don't know that, right? Oh, okay. Here we well, go. Just so they know. I am I'm always reacting stood by your to rules. another stream. Right. So let's find out. Uh, my show is one thing. Now, on Twitter, right? If I wish to engage or not engage, okay. yeah, I do enjoy. Yeah, yeah, I have to do only not have to. What's a good story to tell you guys? But... <laughs> what do you mean, Twi you're not gonna get productive dialogue on Twitter. This is why, like, look, this is why when it comes to these things, I out. should just immediately be like, look, we either have this conversation in private or on stream. I'm not doing this on Twitter. This is not productive. Is Come loud. on, let's go. Don't bother scrubbing through it. Really? Put either red back and redneck. A. Here's me. Confused. How much? How much? Um, communicate. Or true idiot redneck wants a sick and civil war. That is my video. Is he mad about the fact that I called him an idiot redneck who wants a second civil war? A fucking war, a second civil war. I didn't say I want one, but I, I said clearly in my tweet that if the Democrats yes, he did. keep pushing and they want a civil war, then fine, let's just get it over with. Well, he, he, Nobody wants a true fucking war. Yeah, but see, my you don't comments think can't like, be, if you want a civil war, I'll give you one. It's kind of like a weird, like that, like it should be, God, you guys are, what do you mean civil war? None of us want civil war. That should, how you should respond to that. It should be fine. We'll give you a civil war if you want one. It's like, I Jesus. Should, okay, bro, bro, I should respond how? I think you shouldn't respond by being like, fine, you want one? We'll give you one. I think that's probably not, like, good. <laughs> I think it's probably so, not great. So yeah. that's the point I'm making. Exactly. Well, no let's one, watch it. I mean, let's find I'm out. I'm not telling you how to respond to anything Dylan gave me permission said. to watch this, I'm so let's do it. I'm not telling you how to dictate your language. I'm excited. I'm okay. just calling you out when you're sitting there let's calling Let's see what the truth is. Let's well, see if your mama you're, you're was coming, lying or was telling the truth. telling me that I'm hypocritical. I was telling the truth. I always do. Well, I can be fine. Well, the thing is, if if I don't, if I believe one way, if I believe my way is the correct way to respond, and someone else is the incorrect sure. way to respond, then I can say I believe that's the incorrect. Listen, has today not been full to the brim with so much to talk about? Let's keep watching. Let I want to find out. I'm just always telling the truth. What's the? What an honest little truth teller. Dude, still telling the truth to her audience. Still telling. Still telling the truth. Still telling the truth. Still fucking being honest. You're cringing at me right now? <laughs> yeah, true, Sansol. Fuck, redneck. Way? I believe this is the correct way. Everybody can say that. Sure. For example, yes, you can. Um, if if I if I went uh, if Aww, you brought me into your stream and I just yelled like Biden, Biden won, Trump lost, suck it, you just can't accept it, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and you were like, that's not, dude, I'm trying to have a nice discussion with you, fuck you. And I'd be like, <laughs> why are you tone policing me, man? Silent. What an honest little soothsayer, dude. Still soothing. <laughs> Still soothing. <laughs> I can I can interact how I want. It's my thing. You can still think if I interacted in that manner, True. you could be like, Forsooth. Dylan, this is not how you have a discussion about what we wanted to talk about. Like, what the fuck? You can still, you can, that's not hypocritical for you to do that. Oh, I cringe all if the time. If you Don't also worry. sometimes okay troll in some other instances or like try to have productive discussions. I, I don't see how I'm being hypocritical here. I'm really confused. How much, how much, um, communicate, or let me back up. How, how much shit? Did my tweets and this whole trans, anti-trans, or whatever the fuck phobes I've got what? expand conversations? How did it expand? Well, I, a lot of, you got a lot of people talking. Okay. And that is the role of what? Everyone, right? We're all supposed to get each other talking. Well, as I said, yeah. No. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you. His look, defense like, is people talked about me saying the dumbest shit you can imagine, and therefore it's a good thing that I said the dumbest shit you could imagine. Nice. Dave Chappelle has said shit way worse, and yet what? it's funny. But he's an established comedian. But if I say you know I'm you know, 
I want to make a joke that's kind of pushing boundaries. Can't do it, right? That's the level of hypocrisy I'm calling out, man. Well, we got it. I mean, you can't you can't assume, especially with me and CTV. I, I mean, because since we always get fucking clumped together, either we're fucking idiots or you guys are just overly sensitive about what we say. You guys take it too literal. Either um, we're idiots or you're too oversensitive. Guess what? We know the answer to that one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be a treasure trove. Who said this was poison? This is ambrosia. Are you kidding me? This is ambrosia. So that's okay, the, that's okay. The point number one, I, I would say, and I don't mean to be mean, but I also think the tweet no, really fine. wasn't wasn't that funny. And I think comedians I take risks you, love. when they this make funny jokes. And I don't know if they were a joke yes. or if it was a genuine commitment. For example, if I make a joke about a certain community and, and, and it misses hard, right? It's not funny. No one takes it. Then at the end of the day, all you did was make an offensive comment if, if it's not funny, right? So if nobody's laughing at it, all you did comedy was make an offensive is, comment. Comedy Wait. is the purest form of communication. Wait, is that for real, Son Soul? No, he can't be. Oh my god, he can't be that stupid. I don't think they'll let him in. Cation we have because it takes trauma and or those topics that are hard to hear and tries to put a joke behind it. Sometimes so, it works and sometimes it doesn't. So, but your joke about what? do we call trans people bitches or bastards? I would love those on soul. What, what was I the joke? Give trans I was like, I said, how? I was saying, them to me. How would you know to call them a bitch or a bastard without offending when you go to offend? It was it was literally a so fucking. If anybody has a tweet, please send it over. Um, okay, but yeah. You do, by the you way, do he, not... he wasn't joking. He just literally said, "You have a penis." That's all that he did. That's that's all he ever does. He just says, you have a penis, a opinion discarded. Oh, that, that, you're, you're prodding there. You are prodding. You admit you prodded. Fuck yes. You admit you were because prodding. Because she fucking pushed buttons. And so you, yes. you reacted. Remember, remember everyone, this guy came into my chat. I've never, I didn't even know he was a creator. He came in and, hara and heckled me in my chat. I was going to say harassed, but he really didn't. He just heckled me. And I told him to shut the fuck up because I was trying to do a segment. Right? And right, you, right. But you, I didn't deny that. For the record, did, I do have a penis. Did you make that specific comment because you so knew what? that Demon was trans? And, Fuck yes. And, and Fuck I mean, I remember yes. the I remember the penis thing you said, and that was the big thing, right? The bitches and bastard things was kind of smaller. The penis thing b pissed off everyone. Yeah. When you said why? Because a lot of trans people don't like to uh, be reminded about. But she, the, but, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. But she said shit about me previous too that I like I told you hey, look, I offered thing, on stream right? to I offered on stream to apologize immediately and we could have ended it right fucking there. Did she take it? No, so you gamble, escalated Rackison. into an area that I think was inappropriate. I mean, yeah. So I, I hey, that's what I'm saying. I mean, this is this is where I'm getting to. It's like if we all want to get to a point where we can communicate Agreed. and not be taken so literal every fucking time like you and me have had these kind of conversations and, and now your viewers are starting to be able to see it we have had various when i said that he was like i knew it like it was a gotcha yeah that's why i was making fun of him because i know what he was trying to do and he was failing at it see like he's acting like i was like he was a fet like like i'm offended because of a fact that i have a penis but what i'm actually saying is that He's an idiot, and he's trying to be transphobic, and he's still failing at it. Y yeah. Agreed. Girl, dicks are good. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, he... It's. I, I'm so excited. Respectful I'm so excited offline. to see this now. Yeah, I, I try to have, have respectful Have I ever been disrespectful to you? Uh, offline? Um, uh, a, a tiny bit, but I, I think Zero you believe what you said. It's just a disagreement with our philosophy, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how nice Dylan so, is. Dylan is so patient with these motherfuckers. So patient. Look, like Dylan's like, yeah, I guess you haven't been really mean to me. He has been. That's where I'm at. I'm like, I, I, there's no line for me. I mean, I, I'm being called couch warrior now, uh, keyboard warrior, stolen True, dollar. you are a keyboard I've been warrior. To get doxed. All because of me going on here and saying so, what I feel and or So is when she joking. when she like went after you to the point where you wanted to bring out like say sh you have a penis. Was it the that couch was after this. the couch warrior thing or was it, was it after this. this? It was after this. 
It was after this. So where it, she spent a whole fucking segment roasting me off of one fucking word and then okay. making a whole bunch of claims about so, shit she didn't know nothing and about. And you knew that was going to piss her off and it and it's directing it towards Fuck the trauma yes. she feels as a trans And that's why I said cuz she traumatized me. You're Can right. I ask you a question? If sure. if a black streamer said something and I know you could be like why bringing race into it, but I think it's an apt comparison. Y'all always do. Y'all always do. Well, yeah, that's because fine. I think it's something that people can relate to as Americans. And that's why I always because... bring up the transracial thing, too. Well, okay. Well, I, I don't really have much of an opinion on transracialism. It's not really something I study. But when it comes to this, right? Oh, like, my the reason God. Why you hit he's that so was desperate. It was an area that... This Is this not desperation? Is this not the most pit of desperation you've ever seen? How embarrassing that has a lot of trauma with it as a trans person and it was something that was going to hit hard because of her experience as a trans person so no it, it was literally like she says i don't know jack shit about her so i had to stop and think well is there anything i actually do know about her and you know she's trans factual. so you went uh, and you went and i knew she was trans, trans and i knew she had a penis so i said you know what did you Fuck know it, she had a penis the easiest thing no i just said i know you were born with a penis that's all i said i didn't say she had a penis i said she was born i, with I a think penis. you said you had a penis no. Nope. Feels pretty weird. Listen, I just want to take a second real quick just to pause. I want you to know how fucking weird this is, right? No. Are you for real? Do you realize how fucking weird there are two people who are streamers in my space talking about my penis to to possibly thousands of viewers? Isn't that really fucking awkward? Do you think this would happen to like who? What the fuck? Isn't that fucking weird? Now, look, I'm a big girl. I'm tough. I'm a big, strong demon. So I can handle it and I'll talk about it. But it's fucking weird as shit that there are people on live TV talking about my penis. That's pretty fucking weird, isn't it? Just saying, this is the shit, by the way, that you get just for existing online as trans. You will get tribunals on your genitalia. It's incredibly weird. And we're sitting here watching it. I just want to take a minute to remind everyone how fucking weird it is. If I, if I pick... All of you right now who are sitting in the audience, I want you just to think about how weird it would be for you to turn on the TV and see people like maybe a show that you like talking about your genitals. Wouldn't you be kind of weirded out by that? Yeah, they talk about my body like you're not even a living person. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Yeah, it'd be pretty fucking weird, right? What if you turned on your local news and your, like, your local news was like, so, uh... Somniostatics genitals, blah, 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 blah. Right? Be fucking weird, right? This just in. Somniostatics penis. It's fucking weird as shit. It's so fucking weird. Just wanted to take a second to highlight that because this is that is the thing that go, is this goes under the radar. You, a lot of times you don't even think about how weird it is that this is happening at all. Clip it. I said you were born with a penis. I, I'm going to have to put... You, you red, pull, wait, wait. Pull before, the back up. I'm, I want to pull it up. Show it. But let me Fuck ask it. you. If I put at redneck and then put space penis, I'm going to not get anything weird, right? No, no. Okay, okay. No. Just, just want to make Only sure. Only on my Discord. Only on my Discord. I didn't want to see that tuna can you were talking about uh, last stream. Oh, I, I said the tea in your text. Dylan! Okay, one second. I think I should find it, though. <laughs> I know you were okay. You did say born. Okay, you said born. I know you were born with a penis. So you're he trying to remind her either. of that trauma she had as she was the tomb born. McCann, yeah. you know, reminded tomb me McCann. of my trauma as well. Tomb McCann. The couch warrior. But do you think that she had any idea that couch warrior was like an offensive thing to he you did in any way? Tweets, yes. I mean, I didn't and until did I you think, explained and it. And did to I me. think? And did I think that her, me saying that she, something factual about her that I knew? Yeah, that was a fact. You, I, I didn't you think, think it was anything. I didn't think it was anything at that time. Well, you did. You specifically did said you did it because no, no, you knew I she said, was trans. Said, you were trying to target said, that. Right. Oh, I just the said, context I didn't think of Tunican, um, Redneck, um, in his debate with me, he said that his penis w looked like a tuna can. I don't know why he said that. I still don't. I still haven't quite figured it out. 
but that's what he said. I think he was trying to like save face because he looked really stupid. I'm just saying that happened. Go watch the debate. It's up on my channel. He says it. He says it. Yeah, they're flat. I know. I don't think he meant beer can. I think he was trying to make like, I think he was trying to save face and make like a self-effacing joke, but it sucked. Yeah, it's the, it's that joke. It's a, you know, it's, it's this wide and that tall. Yeah. The, yeah, the chode, as we know. Yeah. Think different than what she did to me. But when she said that the couch warrior meant something different, that's when I oh, offered to right, apologize. right, That's what it was. On your street. Yeah, it was, uh, I asked if he hates all dick or if he just hates his, and he said, dicks are ugly. And I said, maybe yours is. And then he said, yeah, it looks like a tuna can. That's what it was. That's what it was. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me of the context. And she completely blew right over. So, so you so do. You. So if you wanted to, well, I, I was a moderator. I I do my best to just stop people from yelling over each other. I'm not going to force her to like apologize, right? But also, when it comes to this, I got moderated. So you admit way that harder. this was the wrong thing to do if you were going to apologize for it. Post, uh -oh. I only will apologize when she clarified that the couch warrior was not directed at my mental Acorn health. Cap. As a <laughs> yes. So then, of okay. course, I'm in the wrong. Okay. Because, but, but see, the point's proven that neither one of us knew what you, what you, what each other's intent was so the blood sport was already there so do you not do you throat. not see this as an example of like a, an environment where this wouldn't have been a best best topic or thing to say to like for example my whole thing about blood sports maybe this wasn't a thing to be blood sporty about by bringing up somebody's uh genitalia Both, when you know that's a place she of trauma have started it then. so let me ask you a she question started it then. if you if Keep so you mind, went he's triggered he's triggered because i said you don't know jack shit about me you couch warrior i called him that because he's like, you know, like somebody who sits around and talks a big game because he was mad. All of this stems from him being mad that I factually reported that he advocated for a second civil war. Such a snowflake. You went, you did this because you knew that was a place of trauma as a trans person. Let me ask you this. Let's say I said couch warrior and I, and I. No, I actually didn't know it was an actual, I didn't, I learned, I've learned since, right? I learned okay. post with all the fucking shit I've faced. Liar. I Liar! He's lying! Yeah, I was replying to him saying he was watching from the sidelines. Exactly! Exactly! I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I thought it was like, yes, I know I was fucking born with a dick. Because that's what happened. Even she replied, yes, duh. So... Was it really that traumatic? It's just a liar. I don't know. Well, a lot of trans people find it extremely traumatic to be reminded of, like, the fact that... I never knew that. I never knew that. Well, Until it, after the panel. Well, they, yeah, they find it... As yes, a, you um, did. That's well, why you, you would say it, you fucking idiot. Obviously. That's why you would fucking do it, you idiot. Also, I am not traumatized by this fact. What I am bothered by is the fact that you would attempt to put that out in public, which you know makes people a target for hate. See, that's the secret. It isn't even about the triggering the trauma. This is about directing hate. That's what this is all about. Because if you point out someone, hey, that girl has a dick, then all your conservative friends go, oh, really? Now we know she's trans. There you go. Then the hate starts coming in. Then the people put you on the list. Then they start sending all their transphobic messages at you. That's the real shit. There you go. Think. Thinky, thinky. You already know it. If you know it now, then I don't need to explain it again. Uh, right. So, right. okay. So it, it sounds like you've come to terms with this is something that could be extremely damaging to direct towards trans people and that this sure. is probably wrong, but you do wish that she apologized for her comments as well. I, I offered it. I gave the olive branch and it wasn't taken. So y'all can't sit here That's and keep That's not an olive to branch, y'all. I mean, what do you mean? You, you got to. I'm, I'm saying the community as a whole. Like, it, look, I didn't start this shit. And I was no, adamant I don't and fighting so. back for what so. I felt. I, right. I was grievanced. Just like you said, you were, you, I am literally piggybacking the thing off is, the things that you just got through saying earlier. You swing back. When you feel you were, when you feel you're right about your belief, my belief oh, yeah, was she was fucking all, attacking because I was. By the way, the, by the way, for those who didn't catch the redneck debate, his olive branch was going on a tirade about how all trans people are men in dresses. I'm not kidding you. That was his. That was the the wind up to his olive branch, quote unquote. Redneck is an idiot and a liar and a coward. 
goddamn so, five minute but why is this a way rant? to how but you responded in this way which you knew was going to spark this up you knew that this was going to get heat and you did it. I don't stand. I don't fucking back down from nobody. Yeah, but even you can True, you cannot Rackson. back down and not call out people's trauma and yes, drag he has. it. Now Talk you didn't obviously know it was yes, trauma, he has. but you knew that this was a place that was going to get you heat because you knew it was going to piss people off by bringing that up to a trans person. Awesome. I, went knew for the, I went for the juggler. I felt I felt that she was going for my juggler. So why are you surprised that everybody so got fucking juggler. angry? You knew that it was going to get people because angry. because it's a one-sided bullshit. Whenever they don't want to see the bullshit on their own side. But then the other it's thing. ridiculous. But then the other thing was the couch warrior thing which is a common term to refer to people who who basically yell from the south lines but don't do shit you just you didn't know that though but she responded if you click on her tweet she responded directly to a tweet where i tell her i served in the military did you that's that was setting the premise you go you guys don't even go there i openly click advocated tweet no but then if you look about it what i talked about is people yell from the sidelines so you, you talked about you advocating for a constitution da, 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 da. that's the activism that would be connected to the couch warrior comment. yes that's what I was talking about. Obviously, it's obvious. And not no to mention, you just talk about you, you even at the end she of it, at the end of it, you the say, war. at the end of the it, the civil war, right there, right here. You that I replied to. No, okay, no, I I'll, go, to I'll go to that. But at the end of this, you say you just like to whine and moan, which is something right. that you could say is a characteristic of a couch warrior. Somebody whines and moans on the sidelines, and so it seems like you were basically calling her a couch warrior without saying it. So yep. she just called you a couch warrior in response. And let's go forward I know. here, the second civil war thing. But we're not watching Redneck, we're watching No one is Dylan. engaging with the about faith. Da, 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 da. Uh, all you need we're to know about Dylan's this, uh, this fuck is he openly advocated for a second civil war. And so the thing you're saying is that you didn't advocate for a second civil war, but you said that um, you, you were calling out people. No, I said the tweet that she was replying to was a tweet where I said, if the Democrats want a fucking second civil war, let's have at it. Let's just get the I think I said, let's ring the bell and get this shit over with. Well, yeah. It's a cage match. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. This is bullshit. Well, yeah, but don't you think that you should probably not say that? Like, well, if you want a civil war, let's do it. Like, no, because I've served my country and I took an oath and I, yeah, yeah, I took I my oath so, for life. Samuel, I didn't just sure. take it for the years I served. So where, where, where are you oh, seeing I'll this like, on call for a second civil let's war? Let's finish this first the and then we'll go into that one, Sansol. Thanks. The, the, it was a tweet uh, from back in September that she did or that she, she quoted me on. So, I mean, if you want to spend 10 hours on this shit looking for all this stuff, this was a response to Joe. Oh shit. And I was look at him. He doesn't want he doesn't want anyone to look into it because if they look into it, they'll find out I was telling the truth. He doesn't want anyone to look into it. Oh, you could look into it for ten hours and find out that Demon Mama was telling the truth all along. Oh shit. That'd be a waste of everyone's time. Don't do it. Just don't bother. Telling him because the new stats that came out. So we were talking about education and how the fuck it, to me, it felt like the teachers were outweighing the their own concerns over the kids. We were not mm -hmm. even talking about this bullshit. She jumps in and interjects that bullshit. Oh, I usually about like the Civil War, War thing. Yeah. It's oh, sorry, so she brings up the Civil War comment you made before because she's like People she's trying to Mama discredit you because sometimes. of those comments. Correct. Yes. Okay. Do you think that those comments you made are something that could discredit you from a lot of people's eyes? No. Well, I mean, anything. Oh, of course, he would have found a way to discredit. Well, I mean, yeah. Do you think? It. Do you think there's any weight behind that discreditation? Like, yeah, I know you would discredit no. somebody if somebody said something ridiculous and stupid. You'd be like, "Why am I going to listen to a person who said X or B?" Right? No, I actually, I actually enjoy. It isn't. I actually enjoy listening. Like Doctor, he was making that up. I think it's fucking hilarious. A lot of this shit. Okay, I will I say mean, that that laugh. that that the response, right? This response isn't something that like makes a decent point against this obviously it's something to call out something before you did it's bringing it forward to be like remember when he said this and you want to listen to this guy that's basically the point but so i, I will say it's not a counter to this obviously but building off of that thing before the civil war tweet which let me i could just find it probably if i just at you and do civil war oh here we go here we go civil war like democrats have been doing since potus they literally want a civil war point two this is from two years ago. So mm -hmm. the left and the Democrats want a civil war to break out, or at least they think they do. The DNC tried to bring us during a civil war into slavery. They're trying to again. No deflection. What facts? Answer me this. Was the civil war done about slaves only? If this the is, answer these are is years yes, he's been tweeting about this. Done. The lone wolf attack was an isolated incident. Keep pushing one sided narratives. You will get civil That's war. That's a threat of civil the war. Civil war wasn't just about slavery. Uh, open more books. That's a conversation for a totally other day. Um, and the hate group, and so Antifa, and so is BLM. I think about it. Neo Nazis won a civil war just like BLM and Antifa. Um, 
There are statues celebrating blacks from our Civil War time frame. Are you showing liberal racism by not knowing it? Your liberals in Antipa keep up attacking MAGA hat wearers. Y'all will learn. Second Amendment is no... This is the big... I think this is the tweet in question. This isn't the tweet in question, Y'all about to evolate this into a civil war. This isn't war. the tweet in question. Uh, the tweet in question is the one that's in my video. If you watch my video, there's one where he a actually just Democrats says, are bring it on. For the leash. They're letting you bite everything. So you basically... What you're saying... Everyone needs to understand they have no agenda other than civil war. What you're basically saying is constantly like the Democrats want a civil war. A civil war is coming. They want a civil war. The, the narrative, the narrative of attacking a, a, the right, right? There the, you go. The the civil war is coming. Hell on earth. All the right are bad, right? This is during the prime of, of if you support Trump, you are a Nazi. That would that clearly alienates half the fucking country, as we can see. So when you continually not even close um, to half. When you continually are, are lashing out, calling them Nazis and it's bigots right. and racists Go and everything else, and then Martini also tell them that you know the gun today. rights, like you're a big gun anti-gun advocate, you you don't believe in him. So I'm sitting here going, y'all gonna get a civil war when you start trying to take this many freedoms from fucking just. I'm an anti-gun advocate. Americans. I thought I could have swore you were. You believe in gun restrictions and stuff. I believe in certain gun control, but I'm currently in the process of trying to get a firearm. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm glad you are. You need one. I'm trying to get a... Um, Everybody needs one. Get a concealed carry. Uh, Be done. I don't know if I can get a concealed carry. Uh -oh. but I, I, I'm, try I'm, eight I'm 19, so I can't get a handgun. I'm trying to get a shotgun. Anyway. Um, I mean, look, bro. Look. It's it's real simple. I just... I speak exactly what I feel from the street. Mm -hmm. From here. From the from my couch. Right? Uh oh you know, uh oh From the couch. Play with your chickens. Pay attention. Yeah, I play with my chickens. Yep. And, and, you know, get a lot of eggs. If anybody needs eggs, I'm trying to figure out how to ship them. They are truly organic. So, you know, they're real healthy for you. And they taste fucking great. The more corruption exposed from Barack Obama admin, the more racism charged MC MSN narratives pushed against the president. Civil War, Second Amendment, ready. Yep, that's another one. Mm -hmm. I will defend my rights to death. Well, basically, it seems like... So one side says that the opposition is racist, and you take that as... Civil War coming, and I'm ready for it. Let's. If you want to show down, we'll throw down. It seems like right. you're hyping up the Civil War more than somebody who's saying, I believe my opponent is a racist. Uh oh. No, if, if you keep pushing, like, racism is nah, the most he toxic deserve one piece lump. in, our, would be in our society today. And that's where I got, you know, that's also where I get f literally frustrated about the whole trans right situations because uh -oh, I believe trans rights have out, out oppressed. I mean, I've said, I've said the same shit that Dave Spell said in a joke. Trans rights have out-oppressed. Where he says, when did black people lose the, the Olympics, the oppression Olympics? How in the fuck did the transgenders get to the front of the line? Like, I literally feel like... How did the transgenders get to the front of the line? Yeah, this guy definitely cares about trans rights, 100%. We're not even addressing the biggest issue, which is racism, before we're already trying to move into a whole bunch of fucking other things. Well, I mean... And we can't even address racism. Well, like, the thing, how the fuck are we oh, supposed yeah. to move forward? Remember, so I don't think you should that wait your turn. You should wait your turn. Forget, fuck, fuck solving intersectional issues. You can only solve one at a time. You can only talk about one at a time. People won the Oppression Olympics. I don't really think that's like a, like a, like obviously I, I don't think there's like a line of like, well, this is the number one, then the number two, da 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 da, da. And if we're really talking about this, uh, the, the, I would say that the, He's trying to argue, he's trying to argue that trans people have stolen the spotlight from racism, which he doesn't care about. He doesn't care about racism. He doesn't care. So none of it matters. It's all just vague bullshit. That's all that he's doing, just vague bullshit. None of this makes any sense. His brain is soup. These, like, obviously with the, with the large-scale Black Lives Matter movement protests around the country, that it seems that when it comes to like black people, like their issues, while they're, I don't think it's always portrayed in the correct lighting. I do think that when it comes to Black Lives Matter, it shows that, uh, like trans people don't have that same movement behind it when it comes to the large scale Black Lives Matter like movement. So, so I the mean, last I don't comments even understand. literally were back in the seventeen eighteen time frame when the whole shit was going through the roof, right? No, like what it was all getting started. No, like deemed the Black the Lives Matter. No. Or okay, look. Just so we have context. Wait, so does he watch my video after this? Does he ever watch my video after this? I wish so. Okay, here. Let me show you. 
I'll show you. I'll show you. We're going to bring this one out from the vault, everybody. It's... Oh, he does. He watches it? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Transition. Yeah, Let's the continue. whole... The, uh, the we'll wait. We'll give it time. Antifa stuff if not, we'll go into the vault. vault. Right? It was starting yeah. to create itself. And okay? I'll show and you. My, Before my I contentions are when you have a part of our society that is violently acting out against other civilians, you have no other recourse but civil war because the police are clearly not oh, doing yeah, it. Oh, yeah. Remember, even, well, even violence, you yourself. he says here, well, worthy of violence. a civil war, worthy of a civil war is when people are violent against you and violence is when you say somebody is racist. I believe violence is bad, but this is also, this happens, I mean, rioting or, or, or protests that destroy property, right, whatever you want to call it. This happens in basically every society anytime there's an unattended issue, and it doesn't always lead to civil war. Great example, Hong Kong. They're not currently in civil war. Another example, uh, Chile. Um, uh, Belarus currently. Um, uh, America multiple times in its history. Uh, Stonewall would be another example of something I could point to, where, where, where gay people who were harassed by the police uh, ended up saying, screw you, so well. and they did a riot, she's gonna come and that's going to lead on. to a like, homosexual civil war. I mean, this happens like, I mean, this happened in the UK. Hell, I remember the Oswald Mosley was literally a fascist who, who marched like brown shirts through Jewish communities. And there was riots in response to him to push him out. And Oswald Mosley never held political power. There was no civil war. I, I don't think rioting is good. And I think it's a symptom of a larger disease of unattended problems. But I don't think that necessarily means second civil war is coming. And I think, if anything, using that to hype up the idea of a civil war probably gets us closer to that path than the actual rioting itself. What What is civil war besides two fractions of our society fighting amongst each other? Is that not what civil war means? I mean, or are we going it, to use? But if that if, if we use the definition that loose, then an election is a civil war. Oh, because true. That, what is it's that? Becoming. <laughs> it's well, becoming. But, I mean, then, because then of that you, means, like, because of people that like means, you. Like, Obama won the civil war against Republicans in two thousand eight with the election like what do you mean by so you mean like two i i think a civil war is usually like when somebody I'm like i'm violence. the joker when baby that's fucking violence against each other. that's that's literally redneck right now, right now. Right? so we clearly have uh, antifa and we also have proud Bo or peanut butter boys whatever the fuck you want to call them peanut butter boys when you have two parties openly engaging in 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 terrorism to each other in the streets it's no different than gang violence engaging right gang violence terrorism. is terrorism what is terrorism right? to you Oh boy! To me, go. terrorism. Uh, I I don't know. I mean, I've I've kind of I've kind of flipped on this one a little bit. It's I mean, at first I thought it was strictly it was already a you know country against us, but now, you know, there's there's acts that have been found inside the U.S. like domestic terrorism, i.e., with uh, uh, um, McVeigh, and then a few others. Right? That's mm -hmm. terrorism. Yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna Osama bin Laden say that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is a complicated question. It's just a, it's just a word that's used a, a lot. I don't know if he was a terrorist. He was actually a fucking. I, I don't. I mean, we call terrorism. We kind of loosen the term because terrorists used you don't, to strictly be. You don't Iran know if and, Osama bin Laden's a terrorist. No, I'm saying he was. To me, he was more of a an actual adversary, right? Like, well, you can be an adversary and a terrorist. For example, I ISIS understand. Is, but you know, how are how are you defining terrorism then? Because I'm uh, just saying. It's, the thing is, I actually, to, I actually. Terrorism is a very, very hard word to put down in the international community, and IR scholars and international relations like, look at that experts silence. have like debated endlessly about what's a terrorist, uh, what's a terrorist, and what, what is terrorism, what's terrorism, right? Or what's a terrorist organization, right? For example, <laughs> um, there are some True. people who believe that nations can actually uh, act. Uh, True, do acts of silent terrorism. redneck uh, right for now. For example, right. True. Um, like if, so, if, if, if the Iranian government mows down protesters, is that terrorism? Yes. Okay, you believe that Maybe. is. Do you believe yes. if somebody riots, that's terrorism? Well, that's... Because See, the thing is, the tricky. fact that they're on the same level, or like, I don't like I don't the like idea the of putting. I don't, think, I don't like the right. I don't like the fact that the police departments are now using terrorism as a charge. Yeah, he does. He literally respects Bin Laden. My, that's a military. To me, ridiculous. it came from the military. My my main thing is the idea of putting somebody throwing a a a, a brick through a window on on using the same word to define that as we would somebody flying two planes into our towers and killing no, three thousand people. Worry. I think there's a huge disparity of the organizational like building there because Antifa's not like an organization, for example, and and the and the violence and there's. <laughs> 
years. And the, the the different thing, the difference here is so wide that using the Antifa same word to cover it, the same, yeah, it isn't Antifa the same. Is not it's not an organization. This it's 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 a set. You mean you want them to file articles of incorporation as a nonprofit? Is well, that what you're asking me? What I'm saying to define is them as an organization. Well, there's literally not an organization. Antifa is based off the idea of not organizing together because if they organize in the manner of like creating like an app, like this is our Antifa commander and general over here. Cool. If they do that then like the government can oh, yeah, crack totally. down on them 100%. easier and like obviously so like the, it, it's part of their tactic yeah, he doesn't not give to a like shit, actually Sansol. be an organization that's what I was so saying. that but, tactic is exactly what uh, the no, thought was system is I am, uh, in theory I am because in you know Antifa still gets financial aid and, and support and of certain well, I'm at my through, current where? level show me the money comfort like the, what organization Bro. who's getting the money food, who's giving the money water okay. but thank you for asking who gave it who gave the types of resources wait who to who what do I need to rewind because if they organize in the manner of like creating like an app, like this is our Antifa commander and general over here. If they do that, then like the government can crack down on them easier and like obviously. So like the, it, it's part of their tactics not to like actually be an organization. So that but, tactic is exactly what is for now. Yes. Uh, the fatwa system is in theory because, you know, Antifa still gets financial aid and support of services. Well, through who? Where? Show me the money. Like the, what organization? Bro. Who's getting the money? Who's Bro. giving the money? Okay. Water, food, who water. Gave it? What? Who gave All the types food? of resources. <laughs> who, to who? Silent. <laughs> so the tr all right, so friends, when we were watching on the news, uh, this just is the, the autonomous bit. when those vehicles were pulling up and dropping uh -huh. the food. Is that and water, Antifa? We're, we're... Huh? Is that Antifa? That was that was Antifa. It's not a bad An idea. Antifa That's organized what I'm trying to do. their zone. <laughs> what makes yeah, them Antifa? Well, they received the. They, so this is coming out of all their pockets. Okay. They all have jobs during the day. They don't have any. I mean, maybe they I don't, don't know. Any... They could. I, they could. I mean, they, they could sure be have taking a lot of time leave. to ride at night. They have a lot of time to ride at night and they know. go to jobs during the day to make oh all this money to spend back on riding again. I don't. I, I mean, this there has to be some kind of fucking financial. This man's brain is a shriveled raisin. And you, it you seems be, you're being what, pretty just as genuine saying there's no. There is you, no. You admit no there is literally. It is impossible. There's no organization. Yet there's. Tons of fucking of, of well, donational points yeah, for these. Well, no, yeah, there's that organizations there. that take money and then distribute water to projects like that. But Raisins that's not the Antifa folks. project. That's the autonomous zone. That's maybe its, its own just thing. A grape. The autonomous zone is its own thing. That's, I mean, you could say that they follow maybe Antifa ideology of not liking fascists. I don't think they like fascists. I don't really follow it. It's not. I, I think the autonomous zone stuff, to be completely honest, is a little silly. Um. So I'm, but it's not Antifa. It's not like when I say Antifa is not an organization, I mean it. It's literally not an organization. Yeah, so you exactly. can't call it a terrorist remember, organization. Wait, wait, wait. Just remember, remember a couple of months ago when the right was freaking out because a a they saw signs, big protest signs being loaded out of a U-Haul, and they were like, "Who's funding this?" As if a U-Haul doesn't literally cost $9.99 plus mileage per day. Literally, you can rent a U-Haul for $10 plus mileage per day. And that and you would rent a U-Haul if you needed to carry large protest signs. And they were like, who's doing this? How can they be affording of this U-Haul? Oh! Remember that? Literally... It was trending on Twitter. They're losing their minds over it. They have they have no grasp on reality at all. Because if you George do, Soros then the with problem the $10 becomes, for example, I'm called Ow! Antifa now. Because I went to the, the counter protest against the uh, the Proud Boys and everyone, I some people call me Antifa. So if we designate Antifa a ter terrorist whatever, then there could be accusations labeled at me of me being a terrorist just for being there exactly. associated with those people. Am I a terrorist? This is this it is my problem with Tanuki calling with Antifa the $5 uh, like a terrorist organization. Is that this, this, since it's not a formal organization, it is a label that a person in power, and I don't want to give the government this much power, could throw this... <laughs> George Soros with the incredibly kind $10 U-Haul. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god. I label on so many people and it could lead to a government abuse of power of like you're a terrorist and you're a terrorist and you're a terrorist. And then fuck before I know it, okay. I'm in a prison cell. So so 
burning a BLM. Well, it depends sign on what you get, right? Silent crime, and the region. But burning the flag is not. Um, I don't like a burning flags. A truck is usually flag nineteen, stupid, but a ban is only ten usually. <laughs> okay, we agree there. I mean, I my point is I don't think I it should be illegal. Like the, the Trump thinks it should be illegal, I, no, but I, I don't. Mean, no, I don't think they. I don't think I, I'm. I, it's the First Amendment, right? It's, it's been protected before. It's it's your freedom of speech. You can burn a fucking flag. It's your freedom yep. of speech. I get freedom it. of speech. I I have I have I am not opposed to it. Yep, <sighs> I've burnt I've burnt flags I, before, but the only flag I've ever burnt is the Confederate one. Yeah, do, do it. Do that. That's your business. Yep. That's your choice, bro. Ooh, redneck um, was getting a little I just, stung I mean, there. I get very when you talk about terrorism. I don't like the fact that we started using it in house. It bugs me. It, it bugs me that we have to have that in our in our military. I'm, I'm sorry, in our civ civilian yeah. code of c conduct. Shit. Because if I, I lied, for instance, if I oh go no, 10 people, I've been owned. Terrorism? Um, that it was twenty dollars. Th right? Fuck me. That's what I'm asking. That's like, oh, that's, that's, fuck that's me. why. I, a lot of people say the Proud Boys are a terrorist organization. I have not said that. Even Pepe though, I, look, look, if there's anyone on Twitch <laughs> that has a reason to not like the Proud Boys, it's me, right? They come into my area. They vandalize uh, property from Thank my community and churches in my me, area. Silent. They fucking mace me, and they and, and and they fucking have to get medics for people that they they stabbed, right? I have to I go. I have to do all this. If there's anyone who doesn't has a reason to not like them, it's me. I still am uncomfortable with calling them that because I don't like the amount of power that can give a government, and I don't know if it's an accurate description. Even though they're a formal organization, they have funding, they have chapters, they have leaders, which is different than Antifa. Which Antifa is an amorphous blob that forms the any Proud time Boys something are just like oppose. the fucking Hells Angels or any other goddamn gang. I mean, point blank, bro. Oh. That's what they are. They're just a bunch of guys that like to fight. Uh, they are. I will say they. they True, uh, they from are. every interaction I had. Except they're also the very racist. The first time I saw them, the first time I interacted with the Proud Boy in public was one charging up to me with his fist raised, ready to punch me in the fucking face. Right? And I was like, holy fucking shit, that's not what I came here for. Right? And uh, the second time was, of course, the charging and the macing and everything else. So they do act like a fake club. Now, calling them a gang, then you're like, okay, I understand the, the reason why Silent you call them calls a gang. calls me out they, on U-Haul prices. They act thuggish in nature, but do they participate in, like, illegal, like, gang activities? Do they, like, <laughs> do they smuggle dope? Well, do they I mean, you would, say, you would say assaulting somebody is a legal activity. Well, you not? Yeah, yeah, I would say assaulting somebody is an illegal activity. <laughs> Um, okay, but so I'm, I'm not a criminal. Be... I'm not. A, maybe. Uh, maybe they could be fine. Now, I'm not a criminal. Understand. I'm not a criminal expert, so I can really say. They, they've they've chose to be able to go. They've chose to act like the Hell's Ooh. Angels is what I'm seeing. Tough call. Because they're starting to do toys like for tight drives and areas where they don't have a lot of toys getting drunk. Ooh. I mean, so they're literally trying to make their ravioli. The PR moves. Their position. I'm gonna eat food right, after right. This. They're doing the PR moves to make themselves look more of not a hate group, Martini's but more a of a good. hey, look, we're just out here getting pissed off at these motherfuckers burning shit, which. I think if they go Antifa would shit. actually just say, like, I just think Antifa would they just say, fuck it. We are a group, and we, this is how we believe. But they're I, not. I hear you're at with the federal government. This so, is yeah, what they I don't agree. understand. They're not a single group. Antifa is a philosophy. This is like saying Christianity is a single church. It's not. It doesn't make sense. They're using the wrong words. They're too stupid. They could make better arguments for their own position, but they're too stupid. Ah! Sorry, I've been yelling a lot. I, I don't. I don't necessarily agree. Anybody that's okay, the terrorist thing is fucking hard because you do, you got that swath from Timothy McVeigh, i.e., domestic terrorist, aka yeah. one, to which Antifa, we both we which both admit two, like that that seems like pretty clear cut terrorism. He took oh, a bomb, fuck shoved sake. it Hell in the yes. building, fuck like yes. yeah. Probably I mean, what I'm, what I'm trying to say, no, we're trying no to find. I'm that. not. I'm not. I'm not asking if you support Timothy McVeigh. What I'm asking generally is, I'm trying to find because this is a really interesting issue of like what is terrorism and timothy mcveigh is almost universal everybody say yeah that's that's terrorism but then you get into like yes. you start de-escalating from levels of violence and you're starting to like which are political in nature and you're like which level is the actual terrorism because if we were to use the most simplistic definition of terrorism is when you do political like violence or to try to use terror to install your ideas use violence yeah, yeah right then then that person right. who threw a shoe at george bush at that one meeting he's a terrorist, was a terrorist. somebody who threw Her throws up yeah. if i threw a water bottle at a protest now i'm a terrorist like that i i, I don't believe with that shit that's where i yeah. get frustrated too that's where that's why i like there's gotta i mean how do we get how did we get there how did we fucking get to where one person could be a terrorist when there's only one person affected um, I, I think it's people have the discourse has what? degenerated to a point where basically all your opponents are terrorisms. That's what it feels like at this point. Because okay, because I am now. I'll I'll be honest. When I went to the BLM protests and the counter protests, there were people adding the FBI and saying, "Look, here's a terrorist. Get him!" Like try, trying to get the FBI to get me. 
They tried to send the FBI into my home to fucking take me away in a cop car because I went to a protest. And the thing is, even the thing that really gets me about that is there's footage of me online. You can see me, everybody fighting around me and me staying six feet away from them because, you know, COVID and me not wanting to fight because I don't want to get in a fist fight because I don't like being violent. I don't like being violent. I liked boxing, but that's because it's a it's a sport where you like you're in a contained kind of safer environment. I don't I didn't want to engage in that. What? Right? Nah. So, but still just by me being there and somewhat associated with the counter protest, now I'm a terrorist in the eyes of some people. And they're hmm. trying to get the FBI to fucking arrest me. I um <laughs> Yeah, that's. Mm. I don't think so it's. I mean, it's, it's picture, branched off, but let's find here's an out. example of that. Let's see right? if I can find where they watch yeah. my video. Example. Money yeah, down. yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it aim by stuff to. Like, be, what, that would just be fucking destruction. Then, then you get. <laughs> I agreed with you. How's everybody in chat doing? Here we go. Let's see. So, everybody in chat. We might have to go into the archive after this. We might have to go reach into the vault. Isn't that an interesting conversation, guys? Oh, really? Okay, let's see. I, I want to see him watch the video. I want to see Dylan react to my video. I want to react to Dylan reacting to my video, reacting uh, to Dr. Redneck. Okay. I love this shit. I love this streamception. In, apparently. Give me so it. I'm going to bring them in quick. Streamception. Hello? Oh, you should talk to uh, Environment. I was talking to him, and he was in here for much longer than me. Got it. Hey, Environment. Uh, stuff was basically... Oh, hey. Oh, hey. I was talking to... Sorry, I was talking to Dervish about hey. security stuff. Probably Millennial. Thank you so much for the two gifted uh, tier one. Uh, do you part? have any thoughts oh, on the is. conversation I just had? Oh, God. Uh, you were talking to Redneck about trans offenses that he committed and, and then, then we go we went over here we go well, that would here work we too. go hey look it's me it works There's it'll be me. a it'll be a short here we go uh, yeah, and, and constructive conversation i bet why wouldn't you follow my line of questions why were the women being transported to georgia where the cdc is located you did not want to debate or understanding you wanted to troll and be a fascist typical we are all trying to talk and learn but not you Yes, I am the fascist, not the guy who literally came into my chat to to use the to try and hand wave to try Good and night, hand Jackie. wave Thank eugenics you. and genocide by saying, "Why are they in Georgia? It really makes you think, don't it?" I'm just asking questions. Yeah, fuck this guy. Fuck this fucking 300 viewer idiot Andy. Sorry, dude. Fuck off. You're going to try and say, you're going to try and call me a fascist over you being too much, too irresponsible in chat to actually sit down and fucking listen for one second about something that your guy I'm is doing. One. You're this is a productive conversation all around. Your guy, the fascist. Let's see. Does he have fucking Trump supporter in his fucking bio? American roots since 1655. Come and take it. Let's look at this. Ah, here we go. I just saw that tagline. Redneck since 1971. OG Cracker himself. Cringe. Just wait. Watch. I <laughs> oh, saw the tweet already. Here we go. I scroll down live. Watch. Let's look at this goof. Wait. Literally, he's civil war baiting on it. That's the first post. Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't see this post. Can't. Do you think a civil war is coming? Please reach out to voting. We need. We'll do. Can't wait. Just a matter of time. The, oh gosh. Uh, How did I miss this one? Uh, this one is pretty on the gotcha. Got him. Well, that's because civil war isn't in the thing. That is right a hundred percent on to. That just sounds like he's saying, I can't wait for a civil war. That 100% just looks like he said, I can't wait for a civil war. He probably deleted what it. I don't think he deleted there. it. I Demon just looked up Mama civil war. Still and he didn't tweet out civil war in this tweet, so I didn't see it. Whoops. Let me, uh, let me go Damn. look. Damn. Damn. Sucks. Really sucks to go up against somebody who's consistent and actually does 
provide substantial evidence, doesn't it? Sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> Whoo. You gotta put that in there. You got there you go. Um just a matter of time, maybe. That's manner. No, you spelled it wrong. That's manner of time. No, matter. No, Dylan, no. I can't find it. It's because you're using YouTube. You're using know. Twitter search. He probably deleted that one, actually. Let's see if he did. Was it two? I can't find Okay, there's three dots after it. And there's what looks like a space, and then a just a matter of time. Just a matter Is Twitter of search time. cap sensitive? Huh. I, I can't find it. Maybe if I look up this specific phrase in this manner, I'll find it. No, that's not going to work that way either. I don't know if he deleted it or not. That's from September 14th. I'd have to go real. If anybody can go back and check at around September 14th if the tweet's still up, I'd appreciate it. Is it is it still up? Is that the one? Is that the one? I think that's the one, isn't it? Let's see, Gayfesh. Is this the one? I think this is the one, isn't it? We got it. That's the one. It's still up. He still has it up. It's right here. We're looking at it live. Let's just get a screenshot of that just in case for posterity's sake. Just in case he decides to, to take it down. In fact, let's go one further. How do we do this? Can we, uh... There we go. Let's just, let's just archive that. Boop, 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 boop. That's never going anywhere. Not that we'll ever really need it again because Redneck's irrelevant. But just just figured, just figured out of for good measure, you know. All right, we're going to change the segment now. You're ready? Oh, you're in the meeting room, CDV? Ah, oh, fuck. I only got like 45, 40 to an hour and 40 left in today's stream, and I still got some other stuff I want to talk about. So you know what, CTV? Um... First, I want to thank you again. Just feeling a little good right gift. now. It's a, it's I real will, fashionable to hold my my liberal, uh, soy purse where I keep all my soy all right. products. All right, and, uh, that was fun. And Listen, that was fun, wasn't it? That was fun, wasn't it? You know what? Occasionally, it's wonderful to just celebrate the victories, celebrate the consistency, and. The principle of creation. Feels good, huh? Feels goddamn good, doesn't it? Now, hold on. Let me see. I want to see these fucking video, these these clips that have been sent my way. Let's do one last thing here. Oh, boy. Let's take a look. Damn it. I've got that stuck in my head. All right. Let's take a look here. <clears throat> what do we got here? I'll, I'll have to move my... Here, we'll put myself right here in the middle for the time being. Let's take a look. Snooping time. Critically thinking veteran right here. Nothing wrong with Proud Boys. I'm actually considering joining the Proud Boys. Nothing wrong with Proud Boys. I'm actually considering joining the Proud Boys. Wait. <laughs> Damn, weird how that works out. Real weird. Hey, guess what? He, he might want to consider not joining the Proud Boys seeing as how that is not allowed on Twitch. Dylan won't be able to have CTV on anymore. Holy motherfucking shit. These people, they're all pieces of shit. Is there a single fucking right-wing person who isn't a member of a group that literally beats random people in the street? Oh, my God. <sighs> well, everyone, 
Today has been a wonderful day. Mining in the content mines. Ping, ping. I hope that you have enjoyed the incredible gems that I've brought you through my labor. Ting, ting, ting. If you wish to throw me any more support before this stream ends, if you would like to follow, subscribe, join my Discord so you can get my notifications and come hang out with us in the future. Apparently, the site chat has decided to explode the moment that I was about to send everybody off. So give it a second. I'm sure it'll be back momentarily. I'm sorry. Apologies. Uh-oh. That is true. That is true, Rakasan. What you sent me is true. Correct. All right. Well, uh, I don't know why site is... I don't know why it's doing that. Sorry, everyone. Site is exploding. However, I am going to raid us out real quick, and I got to figure out who the fuck we're going to raid. So let's find out who's on right now. Let's find out. Yay, I'm happy. Any of you who aren't in my Discord, consider joining the Discord. I think this command worked. Bam. Does it work? It doesn't work yet. Here. I'll post a link to the Discord, okay? Here. Bloop, bloop. Here you go. Here's a Discord link. Join the Discord. You'll get my notifications. You can come hang out with us again. Hey, Sight's back. Welcome back, Sight. Welcome back. Aw, much love to you too, uh, Lumped in Prol. Much love to all of you. Consider, consider supporting the channel. But guess what? I will see you again very soon. Wednesday, I will be having more content coming your way. We'll have all kinds of stuff to talk about. Probably going to do some news, which will be cool. Um... Gonna have a conversation, hopefully, with... Gotta double-check my schedule. I'll have you... I'll, I'll let you know. Conyer! Wait, Conyer's live! We're gonna raid Conyer, then. We're raiding Conyer, okay? We're gonna raid Conyer. So, let me just send everyone over to Conyer, okay? Hold on, let me just get Conyer. Here we go. Conyer's on Twitch right now. Here we go. We will host Conyer. You guys can go watch Conyer over on Conyer's website, but we're going to raid Conyer. Go give my love to Conyer, okay? Tell Conyer that Demon Mama says much, much love, okay? All right? Mwah! Much love to all of you. Big hug. Mwah! There you go. Conyer is. I agree. I agree. I will see you all very soon. Much love and thank you for all the support because you all make this possible. See you soon.